Quinny, before I get to a game plan question, just your feeling of moving over to uh, that one seat and doing the job uh, that usually Spo does. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously it's been only been a couple hours uh, since I found out. Um, and certainly I'm not, I'm not rewriting the book at, at, by any means. Uh, we have a we have a system in place, uh, a culture in place, and uh, you know moving over a seat is just uh, keeping keeping that moving in the right direction. From just even looking back to the Nets last game uh, against Memphis, you know, turning them over, getting second chance points off a bunch of offensive rebounds, is a way to kind of stave off what Katie and. Kyrie can do to you because of the way that they can produce offensively. Defensively, what do you want to do to at least try to keep that contained as much as you can with that one-two punch? Yeah, obviously it's a great challenge, um, you know, having those uh, two players uh, and, and the, the shooting they have around them. Um, and, uh, you know, you just have to present, present them with as many different, uh, you know, uh, coverages, uh, keep, keep them, you know, things changing. Um, so they uh, they don't see one thing uh, too often. Um, obviously, they're they're capable of uh, big scoring nights individually. Obviously, what, what Kyrie's been doing lately. Um, so we're gonna have to uh, be ready for all of that. Quinny, you guys always speak very fondly when when a former Heat player comes back to the building. But tonight with Goran, is is it gonna have even maybe a little bit more? Oh, just a little bit more to it, just knowing how recently one he was here and two, how much he meant, you know, to you guys for those seven years. Of course. Um, I know personally, you know, obviously I worked very, very closely with, with G, um, you know, and, and very fond memories. Um, one of the best, uh, you know, point guards to, to put on the jersey. Uh, so, yeah, anytime we get to see him, we, we love uh, seeing him. You know, obviously we, we don't love seeing him on the other team, but um, it, it's always good uh, to be around uh, someone of that caliber. You D was saying a couple weeks ago, Chris, that when you speak, he hears Spo's voice. How much has working with Eric helped you prepare you for a moment like this, where you're the the head guy tonight? Uh, tremendously. Um, obviously, Spo's a, a you know top fifteen coach of all time. So uh, anytime you you have a mentor of that level, um, and then you know also also with Coach Riley around so much, you know mentors of that level. Um, I've learned. In my seven, eight years of coaching, you know, tremendously from Spo. Um, so it only makes sense that, you know, my voice is a is sounding like him him at this point. Hey, Quinny. Uh, last night, fourth quarter, last three games, fourth quarter, you know, things have been choppy on an offensive perspective. What have you guys discussed about trying to, you know, put together a, a package offensively to try to get you guys, you know, back in, into better movement? Yeah, it's a challenge we're working through. Um, obviously, lately it has it hasn't been good, um, and our guys are, are are you know trying to figure it out as well. Um, you know, keeping the ball moving uh, throughout the game um, while also getting our, our best players that you know the ball in their hands to make plays for our teams. We have a lot of unselfish guys, uh, guys that like to to make plays for each other. So uh, just just keeping that going consistently. Coach, one more for me. It, it, the way the Nets go about it, they're going to shoot from everywhere, obviously, but they are so comfortable <clears throat> in the mid-range, uh, very similar to Chicago. So when you want to continue to maintain your defensive principle of protecting the paint first, how much of that do you have to adjust to? Yeah, they, they, they definitely present a different challenge. Um, you know, the percentage of shots they can make from that mid-range level, um, and, and it's, it's a lot of them too. So... Um, you know, we're just going to have to to get uncomfortable with the way we're contesting their shots, um, get uncomfortable with the way we're guarding them, and then uh, present different looks, uh, especially as far as playing team defense, uh, making guys operate in a crowd, um, things of that nature. Just just for the record, if if you get tossed, is it Karan or Malik? I don't plan on getting tossed. It just just if though, just in case. Uh, that would be Malik, Thank I believe. You. Thank you. <laughs> All right, coach. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.